So at Rackspace, we're interested in the future of business and how, particularly in how retail is going to work and how transactions are going to happen because uh, that means a lot of where our customers are going to go. Um, and we have a special guest here. It's Groupon. And I, we've never had him on the show before. And we're going to see a new point of sale system that they're coming out with and learn about what they're going to try to do with, uh, with that and how they're going to affect the future of the world. And who are you? I'm Yuri Engstrom. I'm Director of Product Management at Groupon. I work on Breadcrumb by Groupon, which is our product line of point of sale products on the iPads, as well as mobile apps um, that do payments. And um, I run products. So we do um, everything basically right now from um, you know, doing retailers to restaurants to nail salon spas, uh, all kinds of merchants. And you've been on my shows before because you ran a startup and sold that to Google, right? That's right, yep. I had a startup called Jaiku back in 2006, sold that to Google in 2007. Then another startup that actually we talked about called Ditto, um, and that was acquired by Groupon last year. And that's sort of how we ended up uh, founding this business unit we, we're calling Merchant OS inside of Groupon. Um, and it's sort of Groupon's stake um, in the future. And who are you? Uh, I'm Varun Krishna, uh, also a director at Groupon. Um, I work on the Breadcrumb POS line of products, which is one of the new products we're here to show off to you today. Um, prior to Groupon, uh, I was head of product at a local e-commerce startup in LA called BetterWorks. Yeah. And uh, prior to that, spent a whole bunch of time at Microsoft up in Seattle, um, working on a number of different things from the CRM product line, Visual Studio, uh, and a whole bunch of server and tool products. I think we might have crossed paths there at one point. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. It was a crazy time, a great, great place to learn how this uh, world works. Um, so we, tell me about Groupon, because I've never had Groupon on my show, and uh, most people have an image of what Groupon is, even if they haven't used it before. But tell me a little bit about what Groupon is today. Yeah, um, well, a lot of people have luckily used Groupon already. So um, I think most of us know of Groupon as the daily deals company. And what we're doing, and the reason that I ended up uh, joining Groupon is really because that's changing now. Groupon's still about daily deals, but where the whole space of local commerce is going is, you know, as I'm sure you've seen this um, everywhere now, um, local merchants start taking on iPads and various kinds of mobile payment software. And that's a fantastic opportunity right now for us because um, prior to Groupon, so I was, I've always been doing these mobile apps, right, Robert, Nick, we've talked about this forever. And, and the thing that I realized is that um, if you want to do something that's genuinely new, novel in this space right now, you've got to have something that's active on the merchant side. We've got Foursquare, we've got Yelp, all these awesome apps that are on the consumer's hands. But the merchants have been pretty much silent until now. There isn't anything active on their side. So doing an iPad point of sale that lets the merchants um, do stuff like, you know, actually put in their inventory so that we know what people are buying, not just how much money they're spending using credit card purchases or where they're checking in on like a building level, but getting to the item level of granularity of knowing that, you know, I always buy a soy latte because um, I'm, I'm, you know, it's what I like. Um, is tremendous because that allows us then to feed that back um, and improve our recommendations. Yeah. So, th you know, there's a, a f tell me about the competitive landscape because there's Square and there's other people who are trying to get in the space. And I guess if you really went far enough, you, you're going to run into Open Table and other companies like Spa Finder that are running the spas or the, or the restaurants already. Where, where does Groupon fit in with this new point of sale? I don't know who, who should answer that. But I, I can take a crack at it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that you know, the point of sale is really becoming the nerve center of the merchants. And I think that what we're seeing is that everything, you know, you mentioned like electronic reservations for restaurants, whether it's loyalty programs, um, whether it's something to do with you know, CRM type of tools for merchants, daily deals even daily deals, like all of that is now converging onto the tablet. And the question, you know, there's, it's basically a race right now. It's kind of a land grab. And Groupon's historically not been bad at land grabs, um, which means that, you know, we're investing heavily in this right now. 
And I think that what will emerge out of it is some kind of a, um, you know, conception of a winner being those uh, players that manage to connect the merchant with the consumer. Because a lot of the apps right now are very much focused on just uh, kind of like replicating an old school point of sale type of experience for a merchant. Whereas what you really want as a small business owner is that your point of sale, which knows what you're selling, what items you're selling, is actually able to bring you more new customers. Yeah. Um, and that's traditionally where Groupon's good at, right? We're the company that's figured out how to bring merchants new customers. Well, that, that's a key thing is, is customer acquisition. But I, you know, I, I was talking to Mark Andreessen and, and he's, and, and others, are really focused on a trend of knowing our, knowing the customer better, because when you know the, the customer better, then you can turn them into a retail, a, a repeat customer better, and it, even the best, the best, re the best places like the Ritz by my house, they have four computer systems that are running their their hotel. Right, there's an open table computer for the for the reservations, there's a spot finder for the spa, and there's a, a computer for the hotel for the rooms. Right. None of which talk to each other. Right. I go there. I've been there 225 times according to Foursquare. They don't know anything about me. I go to another Ritz somewhere else, and they're like, well, "Who are you?" You know, right. Uh, right. which That's is great it. for a video show, but it's not great as a customer experience. Right. That's exactly the opportunity. Right. Is like all that data now lives in the cloud, and you have internet companies like Groupon. Um, you know, there's other players in this space too, which is great because you know we're all approaching it as just you know another cloud app, right? So it's all data and it's APIs. Um, and being able to actually put that data into actionable form for merchants um, and putting it on a tablet that sits down on the counter literally in front of them all day, um, you know, there's just this amazing amount of value that can be unlocked there. And we're going to show you some of the stuff that we're working on right now. Yeah. Um, yep. I think well, yeah, one, one point I would add to that is the fact that I think you have a bunch of new players that are in the space, your squares and and Groupon is one of those players, but I think a big part of it is that there's a whole bunch of legacy solutions that are out there, I think to your point, um, solutions that are extremely expensive, very difficult to customize, they require yeah. lots of training, and you know, effectively merchants are kind of locked in to those systems for years and years, and so I think what we're seeing is some disruption with you know, a device that's as small as an iPad or an iPad mini that's capable mm -hmm. enough to basically run your entire business. Not, not to mention, you know, my wife and I walk around with a, a cell phone, whether an iPhone or an Android, and we have Groupon on our phones, right? right. I don't have the Micros app, right? right? Exactly. Micros is the old exactly. school yeah. point of sale system exactly. that runs a lot of retail, right? right. And I don't have an app that talks to their cash register. So you guys can build a new kind of customer experience based on my context, which is also a thing I, I care about, right? Exactly. Yeah, in fact, one of the things, speaking of Micros, that we recently and launched. We, um, might d we might see what it looks like, too, th to understand yeah. how powerful that connection between the phone and the, and the, the tablet is at the retail establishment, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, we launched Reserve, which is um, basically a way to reserve tables. And it's a really simple, beautiful idea. This just um, um, became available on the iPhone app. Uh, it's kind of a new thing for Groupon where you can um, reserve a table, it's just a couple of simple taps. Um, and one of the things that you know, this enables us to do, if you think about going down the line, is you know, if these restaurants are running our point of sale system, yep. like we're already, because um, Groupon's a pretty massive player, it's got its own ecosystem, um, you know, dealing with a lot of this data. Um, so we're kind of right now working on the plumbing of getting all of these components to talk to each other, to, you know, bring out the sorts of customer experiences like you were talking about. So, so if, I, if I buy a Groupon on my phone, w what happens on the other side? So I, I walk into your store yeah. and you give me 50% off XYZ. Yeah. What, what happens there and, yeah. and what does the new Groupon right. system let you right. do it to get me to become a long-term customer, which is really the goal because right. if, if I don't, then you're, you, know, you just give away 50% right. for I nothing. think, yeah, a, bi a big part of it, and we can certainly show you how that experience works today, but a big part of it is creating a round trip between the consumer who's purchasing the Groupon and all of the data and feeding that right into the point of sale solution. And so a customer can walk in with a Groupon and a voucher, whether it's on their phone, uh, whether it's just a printed voucher. Um, our point of sale solution can actually scan that voucher and apply it to their bill automatically. It'll calculate the right tax values, all of it. And all the merchant needs to do is decide to then check out the customer. We then transact all of that back to the merchant and present them with data on who their Groupon customers are, 
what they're spending, whether it's over and above any uh, what what their regular customers would play uh, would would pay for, um, and really use it as a foothold to establish a longer term relationship between the merchant and specifically their Groupon customer. But the real value by being the point of sale provider is that we also process all of their transactions, and so we can create very strong relative value and sort of talk to them about how Groupon customers might be more valuable or do more for their business and help their businesses grow. And so it's really about creating a much more uh, connected experience. So what are we seeing? Sure. So um, what we're looking at here uh, is a new product line that we just released. Um, this is something that we call Breadcrumb POS. Um, and it's really designed to be a very simple, lightweight, uh, yet powerful way to accept payments and manage your business right here on the iPad. And so I'm running this here on an iPad mini. And you can see that this is essentially what you see on the right-hand side of the screen is the merchant's canvas. And by the way, it's an iPad only, or does it work on Android tablets as well? Uh, so this version works on any iPad, so it works okay. on iPad mini and, and, uh, and also on the full-size iPad. Um, we're also working on uh, bringing it to other, uh, other tablet form factors as well, but right now this is just for the okay. iPad. Um, and so uh, it's very easy uh, to use, uh, no instruction manual or anything required. Um, you know, a merchant can browse their uh, uh, inventory of products and services. So maybe we can walk through a quick scenario and I can show off some of the features. Um, so let's the, say- The store before, uh, did they have to buy anything to get this a, a, as their point of um, sale so, system? So they just download it for free from the App Store. Right. And they had to buy their own iPad or does that come from Groupon? They can buy that from us or they can use their own. Okay. And uh, the credit card swiper is free, um, so there's really no, uh, other than the iPad, there's no cost. Yeah, so $330 or whatever it is for the iPad. And you're up and running. Okay. So, so let's walk through the typical scenario. Let's say I'm, you know, I'm treating the girls to a day at the spa, and uh, so we're gonna come in here and uh, we're gonna select a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and do a deep tissue massage. So I'm out here with three of my friends, and we're gonna go also for a, a leg wax. We'll do uh, a touch up as well. Uh, and you know we're, there's four of us here, so let me just go ahead and multiply that out really quickly. And we're going to do some add-ons. We're going to add aromatherapy oil and a hot towel. And so you can see here the the interaction is very natural. It's very simple and straightforward. Um, you you mentioned uh, the case of a Groupon customer coming in. So let's say that uh, I specifically have purchased a Groupon for a manicure, and I want to add that to this checkout. So first I'm gonna go ahead and ring up, um, uh, or let's say it's a pedicure. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a pedicure to the bill. Um, so I can bring in, what I can do is I can bring in my Groupon right here. So I have my Groupon right here on my phone. And with one tap, I can actually bring up an integrated scanner. And then all I need to do is basically hold the Groupon up to the, to the, to the barcode scanner here and align that and go ahead and apply that voucher to the bill. Um, and you know, a big part of this is understanding how that works with re in relation to the checkout. And so, one thing a merchant can do is they can say, "Hey, like this Groupon should not be applied to uh, the deep tissue massage that I'm purchasing." So I can actually tap that item and go ahead and exclude it from the deal. Um, checkout is again very simple, very straightforward. Um, all you do is basically swipe the credit card. Um, it's going to go ahead and process the payment. Um, one of the things we have obviously is integrated uh, tipping management, so at this point the merchant could simply hand the iPad over to the customer, mm -hmm. the customer can go ahead and select a tip, have a great signing experience in the iPad, um, and the checkout is complete. Um, we do email receipts and printed receipts, um, this solution will integrate with a cash drawer uh, as well as a printer if the merchant wants the full hardware setup. We also have a stand that will rotate um, if the merchant wants kind of a full, a full setup, <coughs> um, and the checkout is complete. So. Um, we really focus on making it super fast, uh, yeah. super simple and intuitive, um, and kind of making that a good experience for, for merchants to use. No, that's really, really nicely done. Um, on, on the customer acquisition model, let, let's say I had um, an empty spa today, and I, no customers are coming in, or maybe I know that uh, Saturday is empty. Is there a way for me to, to get those customers in? Is it just as simple as starting a Groupon? And can I start a Groupon from this system? That's a good idea. So watch out for that in the next release. Okay. Right now, um, we literally, Robert, we launched this thing three months ago, almost exactly to the day. And um, since then, we've done a couple of new releases. And we just put in the Groupon redemption. Um, and that seems to be working fine. Um, we needed to test it out, and the next step for us now is to go into you know, enabling a merchant to actually create their own deals through the, through the iPad. Okay. But you're seeing a, a product that's still in beta, um, and we're kind of uh, you know, 
rushing to build those features in. Another thing, uh, and I don't know if you had something to add on there, but another thing, so I have a Groupon customer in front of me. I, I've served them. We, we collected $200. I want them to come back. So I want to build a loyalty program. Right. I, I want to say, okay, if you come back four times, I'll give you your fifth uh, pedicure for free or something like that. And I want to hand them like a, a card, Scoble Spa. Mm -hmm. You know, is there a way to do that Scoble or spa. hand them a gr Groupon card or a loyalty card or something that'll get them to think about, oh, I should come back here over and over again? Because that's how I'm going to make money off of them, uh, off of this uh, customer acquisition strategy that right. that Groupon really is right. great at. Right? right, and that's absolutely where we're taking this. I think you know, I think to your point earlier, you know, we really view this as an integrated demand generation device. That's part of our long-term vision. We want this to be something that not only helps you run your business, but something that really helps you grow, retain, get customers to come back, get them to spend more. Um, but I think a lot of it has to do with what are the steps that you need to follow in order to get there. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is um, something that we, we've just recently launched that we call the customer's report. Um, and this is a merchant facing report that you see here that gives you a view of all of the customers that, you're proce that are processing payments through your business um, from a transactional value perspective. So you can see who they are, you can see what they're spending, you can see uh, how many times they've come back to your store and this is really the w what's going to lay the groundwork for uh, the next generation of the loyalty program, which yeah. is something that's not just a simple punch card or say, hey, 10 visits, you come back. It's much more intelligent, much more sophisticated. Um, using a report like this, I can drill into a, a given customer and I can see what items they've purchased. Um, I can see more details about what their most recent purchases are. Um, I can see what when their last visit was. And so um, that's exactly where we're going with this is we're going to reinvent the, the idea of the loyalty program to something that's much more sophisticated and capable of just it, even being more automated in some sense, where you can look at a customer, um, you can take a couple of notes uh, based on preferences, um, you can have the system automatically send emails to them to remind them to do particular things, if there's particular items that are going on special that they might have purchased. And so I think for me, what's really compelling about this is the fact that we do have an incredible amount of transactional data by being the merchant's point of sale provider. Yeah. And that's effectively uh, where we're going to be going. When I bought my mountain bike, uh, they said, oh, you should come back every spring to get your uh, chain oiled and you know have a mm -hmm. general checkup of your bike. Um, is there a way to schedule that or put a marker on, on the account so that maybe Groupon will notify that customer next spring, hey, have you thought about getting your bike tune-up kit or something like that? And uh, is there any way to do that kind of timed release stuff? Right now, um, we're, that's actually a really good idea. Um, yeah. Haven't talked to any mountain bike dealers that are running our POS yet. Well, a, a dentist does yeah. the same thing, right? Oh, my dentist yeah. right now is SMSing me and, exactly. and bugging me because right. I haven't had my teeth cleaning. Right. And it's like, come back, you know, it's, it's time for your teeth cleaning and can we get you scheduled and all that stuff, right? Right. And I think the way that we want to go about this is, you know, um, we're super sensitive to the uh, the idea that people really value their privacy, right? And everybody's getting bombarded by a lot of ton, ton of email and merchant communication. So the reason that uh, I think Rune and I are both um, loving building this right now is because finally we get the granularity from the transaction data. Because it's not just the Groupon redemptions that we're, we're getting; we're also getting, you know, every single credit card swipe or cash transaction. So we know. Uh, what people are buying, and we can use that to teach our systems uh, to be much more precise about targeting you know you at the right time. Um, and it may be that you're one of those people who you know really hates getting contacted by their dentist, right? Yeah. Um, and there may be ways that you know we can build this to be sensitive to that. Yeah, it, it, my dentist asked me, would you like a card mailed to you? And you fill out your address and they just throw it in the mail. Right. Or would you like an email? Would you like an SMS? They, 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 they'll give you the choice. And I, I like SMS because it reminds me right on my phone where I can look at my, my calendar and say, oh, yeah, I, I should go. I, I, two weeks from now, I have a day open to go and get my teeth cleaned or whatever it is. Yeah. But a, lo a lot of businesses are like that. And, right. and it's a really key to getting those return customers to come yeah. back because yeah. that's key. Uh, it's, it's cheaper to get a customer to come back than it is to get a new one come in the door, right? I mean, exactly. I think a, a big part of it is like, scheduling is a very, very important capability for a range of businesses. And I think what Yuri talked about earlier with the Groupon Reserve feature is an example of that uh, in a simplified like food and drink or restaurant type scenario. 
Um, Groupon works with a lot of health and beauty uh, merchants, and so we're very aware of the fact that you know, for many of these types of merchants, the schedule is everything. You know, yeah. when does a customer book their appointment? How does that appointment dictate who they are? How is it connected to their their record and things like that? And so. I think the great thing is that Groupon has a ton of infrastructure and a ton of investments in all of these areas, and so that is a big um, differentiator for us over the long term. Yep. And we're we're definitely uh, working hard on figuring out exactly how we kind of get that into our into this product. And I think the important thing is making it uh, very vertically relevant to the merchant. So a health and a, health, a spa scenario would be very different, for example, from like a restaurant scenario. Yeah. Yeah. And so making it something that's extremely tailored is something that we're, we're definitely working on. And we have, Robert, we have a restaurant point of sale that's specific to restaurants. That's not what you saw here. It's like the big, big brother of this one. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like our flagship. We call it Breadcrumb Pro. Yeah. Um, and one of the cool things about, I think, you know, a lot of people uh, ask me, like, why, like, why are you guys into these high-end restaurants? Because it's people uh, like... Um, you know, for instance, Koi, just um, nearby here, uh, is one of the restaurants. It's, you know, these are Michelin star places where the chefs are probably the most demanding customers in the world because they're complete perfectionists, not just about their cul culinary experience, but everything, including the point of sale, has to be beautiful and perfect. Um, and it's a real challenge to our design team to be able to meet those demands. Yeah. Um, but where I see that playing into Groupon strategically is like, you know, although like those kinds of high-end restaurants are not typically what people think of when they think about Groupon because they think of daily deals, um, that's where we're going. Um, and we need them uh, on yep. this platform because they're the ones that really um, you know, stand apart and set that customer experience. And they're the ones that are willing to do the crazy stuff like, you know, the fact that you should be able to just walk in and the front desk should know who you are, you know, yep. just because, you know, they can see you pop up on their iPad. Um, and they should be able to do stuff like, you know, when you're ready and you've eaten, uh, you can just get up and go uh, without having to call for a check um, because, you know, breadcrumbs already got your card on file. Um, so this is the sort of future that uh, we're building. And I think that it's not only going to be about you know making merchants, uh, local merchants, and local neighborhoods thrive in, in the sense of driving them more business, but it's actually going to elevate that customer, you know, the consumer experience. And the reason that I think it's great to be working on it from like why I joined Groupon was because Groupon's got a lot of these customers. Yeah. Like if you're starting off on point of sale app right now. Um, tend to kind of focus on the merchants and kind of forget about all the consumers. Yeah. And getting that consumer app into people's pockets in order for it to be able to communicate with you intelligently and not just spam you with email, you really need that app in their pockets in order to be able to do that. No, it, it, it makes sense why Groupon's doing this. Um, where else do I want to go with this? Because it, it, okay, it, if I have a spa and like yeah. the use case and a, a hundred customers come in and three of them are Groupon's, do I pay you a percentage of each customer, or do I pay just for the Groupons, or right. how do you guys get paid? I yeah. guess is the yeah. question. How, yeah. how does so, so you will um, not pay us uh, for the customers that are not using Groupons, except when they're if they're swiping credit cards. We take a very low percentage. Ours is one point eight percent plus fifteen cents per swipe is our pricing, and we we actually have a low price guarantee, which means that we will. Uh, guarantee you that we're that giving you the lowest processing rates on the market for your business. Yeah. Um, and that's really about, um, you know, I think where you can see the sh shift in the business model where traditionally it's very much been about these sort of hidden fees that are put into the credit card processing because yeah. that's how these guys have made their money. Um, but uh, that's terrible for a lot of reasons. And, and really what it should be about is, you know, like the pay-per-click model or pay-per-visit model where, you know, if we manage to deliver you a new customer, then I think, it, you know, as a merchant, I'm willing to pay for that. Yep. Uh, but if, if not, then I shouldn't be paying you. Um, and that's actually where I think we're also going to see higher margins um, than in the traditional processing. No, it, make, it makes total sense. My brother owns a bar and I, uh, you know, I can see him using this to get people to come in, you know, for Ye Ye Jaeger shots, 50% off or something with a Groupon, right. and then, you know, hey, you're sticking around, here's some food, here's some other right, things. Right. So and this is a way something. for you to also be able to, as a merchant, then track whether those people actually come back. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is really, really cool. Um, where, do, where do merchants learn more about it? Is there a website that's set up for uh, merchants to go to on Groupon site? 
Um, it's uh, breadcrumbpos.com is okay. where they can go, and that's where we have our whole suite of point of sale products, um, a ton of information, uh, free sign up. Um, they can sign up for an account, download the apps, check it out. Um, there's no obligation, no contracts or anything like that. And um, our, the whole range of products that we have uh, under the breadcrumb suite are, are all the information is there. Very cool. Thanks so much for coming in and showing me the, uh, the future of retail. So I really appreciate it. Happy to be here. Thanks. Thank